Now as far as a chart, uh, I have a statement here It says a chart is worth a thousand data values, okay? And this is definitely true. Uh, with any numerical data, you can um, try to make some sense from the numbers, but if you can use charts, you can really get some important visual clues about your underlying information. So we will be taking a look at this uh, in today's lesson for sure. As for as uh, different types of charts, uh, let's uh, kind of go down the list. You can use column and bar charts, uh, which are typically used to plot data against categories. So something like uh, product types, sale numbers, things of that nature. The next one is line and area charts. These are useful if you would like to show a trend against time. So for instance, uh, possibly a stock price chart displayed over time. It will tell you how the stock is doing, if it's going up and down. Uh, in today's market, it's probably going down, but uh, you could possibly use a line chart for that. The next one is the pie chart, which is definitely beneficial in understanding uh, breakdown or allocation of quantity. And then uh, the final one we have listed here is uh, the scatter chart, which is also known as XY chart. And this is uh, typically useful in mathematical and scientific calculations, as it helps you understand the relationship between X and Y values. So this is just a little um, quick overview of the different types of charts that we have available. Uh, coming back to our personal budget, we will essentially start off with a 2D clustered column chart and then with the help of chart styles we'll uh, try another color screen scheme and then we will switch the chart type to possibly a 3D pie chart which will break down the expenses rather nicely. We will also add uh, some percentages using the chart layout and then finally uh, move chart to a new sheet called chart one and then review layout and format options. So this is sort of like a list of what we are trying to do. Um, so the first thing we need to do when creating a chart is to essentially select where you would like the chart to go and for now let me go ahead and select my cell E3. This is where I would like to insert my uh, chart next thing you need to do is select your data source okay this this is going to be the information we will be using for our chart so it's uh, b7 through c18 which is essentially is all my expenses then i go to the insert tab uh, by the way we will skip over these groups uh, tables illustrations and come back to those i just think that un under the insert tab this area is really uh, the most important so I'm kinda switching the order now for my chart I'm going to use column and then click on this drop down and then go down to the 2d clustered column okay and so here is my chart I'm uh, actually going to make it a little bit bigger but uh, just off the bat notice that Within uh, two clicks, we have a nice looking chart. We have all of our expenses listed on the bottom, which is also known as the uh, horizontal axis. And then we have the uh, actual expenses listed on the left, which is our vertical axis. Okay, And right away, you can tell that mortgage is by far my biggest expense. Okay, Now, I could have al also done that looking here but uh, just with the visual information you can really make sense of your data pretty fast okay now on the, on the ribbon you'll notice that we actually have a chart tools tab okay and we also have these uh, essentially three tabs that pertain to uh, chart settings so there's a lot of information here we are only going to touch on a few things uh, the first thing, if you wanted to change the color, you can easily do that by using these chart styles. You can even click on the more button and look at this. I mean, that's this is just really amazing how much uh, different information is in here. I'm going to go ahead and let's pick, uh, just do a green color for now. Now, like I had mentioned, I would like to change this to a pie chart. I mean, this is good, but I 
really want to break down even my expenses further. So the way you do that do that is go to change chart type, okay, and you will get this new dialog box. I'm going to go ahead and select pie. You could have done one of these other choices also. And from within the pie, I will go over to where it says 3D pie, okay, and then uh, just change that. This looks okay. Uh, doesn't really highlight my different colors. Uh, so I'm going to try a different scheme here, possibly style 42. And uh, wow, I mean that's, that's just, I think that's awesome. I mean look at, you know, the information that you're getting from this. Okay, uh, you have a nice legend on the right side. Uh, so we can see that our mortgage is definitely taking the biggest piece of the pie. Okay, and there's other expenses as you go along. Uh, as you move your mouse over the, the sections, you'll notice what it's highlighting. It even tells you what percent uh, the specific expenses, right? Now, uh, again, we have other options here that we can choose. I'm going to try the quick layout. And what I would like to do is to actually see these percents right on my pie chart. Okay, so I will pick layout 6. Okay, it made the pie a little bit uh, smaller, uh, as you can see, but now I have essentially the percents right there in front of me. So that's uh, pretty cool. You can also, um, if you wanted to get rid of the legend, you could have done this one, which now it makes the pie a little bit bigger. We can just leave that for now. And I'm actually going to go ahead and move this chart instead of uh, showing it on my uh, raw data sheet. I would like to move this chart to another one. So here we get a dialog box which is asking me essentially where would you like to move it. I'm going to go ahead and pick new sheet. Okay. Uh, and now it essentially has its own place. And uh, before we go on to the next area, I mean real uh, quickly, we have some other tabs where you can uh, come back and uh, change some of these uh, other properties. For example, if I wanted to go ahead and remove those labels, I could just select none. I could even put them outside the pie. I could uh, essentially do a center. So there's a lot of different things you can do. If you wanted to change your title, um, you could select that. You could even go ahead and change this. So I, let me just go ahead and use expenses because I don't really like the amount. So those are some of the features under the layout. Uh, under the format, again, um, you could change some of these things. If I wanted to change maybe the rectangle color, I could do that. I could uh, change it the fill color that I'm using in here. Maybe I want to use something that's light green. So definitely play around with these settings. Uh, I'm just going to show you just a few things here. Um, and we will switch back to our PowerPoint. So that was using uh, the chart features under the insert tab. Next we will be inserting a table and pivot table. Now uh, utilizing the table feature you can sort and filter your data easily. You can format portion of your workbook essentially independently of the rest of the data using styles gallery under the table styles group. Okay, So let me just do that first before I go to the pivot table. And for this part, I will go back to my raw data Excel sheet. Notice that right now uh, we are not using a table. We're just using a basic, simple Excel sheet. If you wanted to convert some of this information into a table, we'll go back to our expenses. You highlight the area, you go to insert, and then you select table. Then it will ask you, 